the NHL season almost wrapped up, or by the time this video comes out, already wrapped up, the talks of NHL 25 will start brewing, and obviously the game this year, NHL 24, was not the best at all. It was mediocre at best, it didn't have any sort of kind of new features, other than maybe a couple little here and there little things and a whole new control system which just made the game feel even more easier. With that being said, of course the yearly NHL next game talks start coming around and people wonder what's going to be in the game. So I thought maybe get it in the bag, throw my hat in the ring a little bit, uh, a little bit early and just say here's what I kind of want to see in the next NHL game, NHL 2025. So strap in, what's up, my name is Tandy, Chicken Tandy, Chicken Tandy Gaming, Chicken, I don't care what you call me. Except it's nice, as long as it's nice. And I am a kind of ex-NHL YouTuber. But with that being said, here are some of the things that I want come NHL 25. Number one, the obvious yearly asks. GM Connected, Winter Classic, BRF, Zamboni Driving, etc, etc. The things that whenever the first topic comes up, that is the first thing that is always asked. Maybe these fun things will be added next year. We can hope and pray, but you know, they probably won't. But just for fun and maybe for a little bit of five minutes of extra playtime, these things will become maybe the next highlighted thing in NHL game. Number two, some better team AI. Now, the last game, last couple games, we've been so focused on building the defense to become better and to become more easily adjustable so they play harder against you and they make the game more realistic and even a little bit more difficult on the easier settings. But where they need to adapt is your own team's AI. Plenty of times I've been in the offensive zone and either they go for a really bad line change or they even just don't read where the play is heading. They don't know where the puck's gonna be. They just can't predict where it's gonna be. And when they do predict, they're usually kind of just clumped up in the middle. So overall, I think that is what needs to be changed. Just offensive, better AI. Yeah. Number three, more creation options. This has been an ask for many years. They seem to just add in every other new jersey every now and then. But just the ability to even write a word mark on the jersey, have a couple extra jerseys, the option for two, jer the two alternate jerseys. The chances are there for them to do it, but will they do it? Probably not. But even some more player adjustments, maybe being able to change the color of a player's strings on their pants for whatever reason. I don't know, just the ability to be more creative when it comes to different things. Number four, update be a pro. Now, this game mode has been updated a good chunk of time for the last little bit, adding different things, adding cutscenes, adding a story, adding this, but even just having a linear story that you follow, like an NBA My Career, an ML, not even ML Real Show, a WWE 2K 24, 23, whatever, having a linear career, a linear storyline to get you boosted into that game will help you want to stay playing the mode longer. But even then, having less cutscenes on useless things, why does Morgan Riley want to take me out to a museum. Why do I need to go? Why do I need to either be like an asshole and say no or like racistly accept it but spend two million dollars because I'm paying for everybody's ticket. Useless things that don't improve the game. Get rid of it. Have a cutscene every now and then for the thing. Have a linear story. And then of course at the end maybe just let the player continue. Don't have that story, but let them continue. Let them continue to play as their player, have the career, have them build up their player as they want. Just those chances. They need to have them in the game. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna give an honorable mention here before I get to number five. Themed jerseys slash knights. Now, a lot of you in the comments might already be screaming, oh my God, he's gonna start a rant, but blah, 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 blah. No, I don't really care. Here's the thing, you believe what you wanna believe, I'll believe what I wanna believe, the players can believe what they wanna believe, and that is the main probable answer to no. Theme knights like pride. Theme knights like military appreciation. Theme knights like cancer, hockey helps cancer, whatever it's called, might be a no will probably be a no because there's so many contracting beliefs and religions within the NHL that if you see a player in a video game with their name and their number supporting something that their religion or whatever doesn't support, it has major problems. Teams that don't support a cause, major problems. I think the only one that should actually be in the game in any sort of sense is hockey fights cancer or whatever that one is. 
because no matter who you are, cancer has always affected everyone. That should be the only one that is a guaranteed in the game. Lastly, number five, better franchise options. Franchise mode has been kicked and punched, spat on like a, a sad little ant. But the, the there's been so many it's been so forgotten for so long that when they finally added something like trade deadline minigame you can't even skim through the time you have to sit there for 10 minutes 20 minutes however long it takes to go through the entire day for chance to be traded with now skim to if a team wants to trade with me sim to that trade if it takes out the time i don't care let me sim through the day chances like that uh better even better trades better trade offers better this better that just more understanding of what a trade can be what it can lead to specific automated options why do i have to just scout and this is probably in the game already but i'm too lazy to go through the settings and specifically find it but scouting training etc hiring coaches i don't want my coaches i don't want to spend so long hiring a coach like just pick the best one and hire them and last thing for a better franchise option is if i'm on a custom team let me keep the past jerseys I made. Let me be able to rock the jerseys for the third, first inaugural season because of whatever, right? I win a championship, I make the third jersey more gold championship style. I still want to keep that old jersey from the, pro, from the previous year. That's it. That's the thing, some of the things that I want, some things that I came up with in 11 o'clock at night just because I was bored and I'm like, hey, this will be a fun little video to make. Let me know in the comments what you you want to see in an NHL game let me know what you think should be added let me know respectfully if you agree or disagree with my opinions I'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your time enjoy your life enjoy whatever you think uh, and we'll see you when NHL 25 comes out or not we'll see and if you were watching this in about two months three months four months and some of the stuff has already been agreed with maybe look at the uh, the timestamp when this video is posted thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the next one Peace.